Hi, this is Rich Carlson, Products Project Solutions. The purpose of this video is to give you a quick show of the working hours during a day in Smartsheet. Let's have a look. So in here, I've got a time plan and you can see I've allocated tasks to people um, on an hourly basis. And so what I've got a total here is I've got eight tasks and they line up for the total of the day. So in terms of the day, what I've got in, I've uh, shown this in a separate video, is if you want to see at what time it starts each day, here I've actually added a formula which has, says start at row, so it's giving the time, the date here rather, and then I've asked it to make this text and it's showing the actual time. So what you can see is by default, the working day starts at eight o'clock and that's fixed um, on this basis here. So, and then if you go down and you see each hour increment, it says eight, nine, 10, 11, and then it's got an automatic lunch break um, or a break put in between 12 and one and it jumps to 1 p.m. as the next slot on this bit. And again, not many people will be using this as a function, but again, it's just useful to be aware of. So that's the situation here. Now, if you go and play with the settings and go edit the length of the day and make this say nine hours, for example, what's gonna happen is all it's gonna do is it's gonna still start then. And if I was to put another task in here um, for one hour and say um, more, um, and I'm just gonna put this as a task here with the predecessor as nine, then you can see that that's one day. I'm gonna turn that into one hour um, on that basis. Then you can see that that carries on till six. And if I make that two hours, for example, then it's gonna move and start and go over to the next day. Um, on that basis. So what else happens if I play with the that, the times here? So if I turn it from nine hours, if I turn it up to, let's say 12 hours, for example, what's gonna happen? And press okay. Then the timings seem to work and you can see that goes to 7 p.m. And if I'm gonna make this now three hours, for example, then you can see that still works four hours and that still works again. So it's going from, is the, that takes you to a 12 hour day. And if I make this five hours, what's gonna happen is it's gonna spin over to the next day, starting at 8 a.m. So if I now change the timings and say that the working day is longer than 12 hours, if I now turn it over to 13 hours, it's going to automatically start the day at midnight. So that's kind of one of the settings here. Again, I appreciate this is a bit of an edge case for people who might be looking at these hours bit, but it can be useful um, on certain settings. So if I just turn this now back to my standard working hours, um, which is an eight hour day, again, what's gonna happen here is the time's gonna spill over into the following day and you can see the timings all start at eight. You got a little lunch break or whatever um, between 12 and one, non-working time rather, let's just say, and then it rolls over into the following day. So if I just delete this last task, task out here, so that's a way of seeing how things are. And again, this links to a previous video I've done um, about linking the times. So just thought it'd be useful just to highlight um, some of the nuances within Smartsheet in terms of if you are gonna use the time, then understand what is happening here. Again, as I've shown you on previous video, this actually goes down to minutes. So I can have that as 30 minutes, for example. So you can see how that works um, on that basis here. So I'll turn that back. So, Trust that's been useful as a quick glance at the um, that working day and how it breaks down and the timing behind that bit. Um, have a look at my other videos related to timings and Gantt charts if you want to understand a bit more. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.